Um, I just thought to give you a little idea of what I think how the characters might be, especially one, Anastasia Steele. I've done a bit of a makeup tutorial about it, of how I think how the character should look like, and hope that has some inspiration. We're going to start with the first step, the base of the colour of the eyes, and what I'm going to do is this kind of colour grey here at the end, and it's called Gum Gum Trail, a unique name, and it's from Urban Decay. So first you get the base and what I've been told is that always do powder first on your eyes. So say if you've got transludent powder with a power puff or with a brush. So you do that first because what the powder does, it helps to settle it and it won't make it messy. So let's... Get the grey. And then same on the other eye. And then when you've done that, you blend it to blend the eye, just to get a nice smooth texture. And same again on the other eye. And then if you feel like you've done too much or whatever, you get in it cotton bud and then it will just help take away the edges that you don't want. Underneath as well, if there's any underneath. And same again on this side. And there we go. So that's the base that's done and then the next step is to make the eyes dramatic is the eye line. Right, I was, I've got an eyeliner and it's from Body Shop because it's got a good definition to it. So when you do the eyeliner you hold your eye here and because most people miss the line of the eye what you do is that you tip your eye a bit like that and then you might get it right on the line then in the corner 
and just bring it back. And if your eye starts to water or anything, take a bre break and then let it dry out and then do it again. And then I do an extra line to make it a bit thicker so it brings out more of the eyes. And then underneath as well on the line. And then on the same one as well, same again, tip just a bit on your eye and then so you can see a line of the eye line. And go into the corner to bring it to join with the line. And then to make it thicker, as you can see, I've already managed to make it thicker by bringing it back. If you want to make it fully thick, then you go on top of it. And then to bring out the eyes more, I will get a nice white colour. And then just put it on the corner here of my eyes. As you can see. And then underneath here as well. And then same on the other side. And then underneath. There you go with the eyes, and then after you've done that, get your mascara, and then it'll give you a full-on effect. Then look up when you do it, it brings out more with the eyelashes. So again on this side, and most people normally do is when they don't want to go like that for the next eye. But what I've been told is that you turn the mascara and then do this eye. Yes, it gets a bit hard getting used to after when you first do it, but when you get used to it, it's e it really helps and it's easy. And then also underneath as well, so you look down. See them again on the other side. And there you go with the eyes. And then for lips. If you like want to do if you do dark eyes, the best way is always to do a natural lips. But if you did like light eyes, then darker lips. Because then it works with the tone of your face. So what I'm gonna do is basically use a nice light colour and it's gonna be this one here, where my finger is. Top. 
and there you go. Right, so that was the tutorial of Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. And if you've got a request, please leave a comment and also leave a comment about your favourite part of the book. I would love to be interested. And also follow me on Twitter at Glossop Guru. And that's all. And we've got more videos we'll be following. And that's all. And that's it from Glossop Guru.